Hey guys, what's up? I'm the Hano Gamer, and welcome to the first edition of the series that I like to call, don't know what the hand movement's there, I like to call console thoughts. Now, seeing as I am I am a Hano Gamer, I do play a lot of Hano games. With that being said, I also play a lot of console games, so I'm like, why not do Hano thoughts for Hano games, and console thoughts for console games? Go figure. With that said, let's just, let's just start with the other review, Valiant Hearts, the Great War, and holy crap, I can't, it's so good, it's so good, spoilers, it's fantastic, um, I, I love the shit out of this game, I just beat it, um, I am recording this on Thursday, and it came out Wednesday, so I'll be in two days, uh, because I, I, I couldn't stop playing it, and I wanted to immediately, immediately make this video to just speak out and say, if you own an Xbox One, PS4, or PS3, or 360, Buy this game. Buy. It. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's on PC. But if you own any, any, any uh, of those consoles, buy this game. Just d do it. It's worth it. Because okay, for those who don't know of uh, the story, the story is essentially you play as these, as these five characters um, in the Great War, World War One, and I'm I'm not going to spoil anything. But the story itself is so personal and memorable that it's just so good. Like you, you have these lighthearted moments that are like, like you're in Paris and beautiful, which I'll get into the whole fucking beauty in a second. But you also have these, these dark and depressing, these serious moments that just show the reality of World War One and how bloody and ultimately pointless it really was. And these characters are so memorable that you just. I, I love all of them, but the best one, by far, by far, is the dog. The dog itself is the greatest dog in the history of anything. Video games, movies, books, whatever. We, real life, this dog tops any dog ever. Maybe you, you had a dog that was awesome. Not this dog. Uh -uh. It does not have a name. I'm going to name it Hank, because Hank is a good name. Or a badass dog. I think. Either way, Hank the dog is fucking amazing. It's he's so good. He's such a great character. He's a great character. And all of them, all all the other characters are fantastic and memorable and and have their own backstories and it's just so fascinating and personal. And you feel like you're with them and it's just so motivating and fucking fantastic. So the characters and the story Fantastic. Graphics, holy crap. I mean, just, it's art. It This game proves that fucking video games are art. This game, is, it, it's, just, it's just so pure beauty, and there's not a single moment where I don't go, like, it, like, ho like holy crap, it, it, it just, focus, focus. So the graphics are good. They're, they're fucking amazing. Uh, and, the, and the music, the music is just, so good. I want the soundtrack. It's so, it, and again, it's lighthearted at moments where it's lighthearted and it's so, like, intense and sad and it's just so good. It, it's the perfect soundtrack for this game. It really is, and, and I want I want the soundtrack. Like they have the uh, can can in there, and it is so good in this game. I love it. Love, love, love the soundtrack. Uh, but enough about the graphics, the the music, the story, the characters. What about the gameplay? The gameplay itself, it's not your, your usual war game. Uh, it's not a shooter. It's a puzzle adventure game. And a damn good one at that. Um, I don't know how to describe... Like, you have so many moments of this game that it, it, it's just so good. You have parts where you're... you're in a car, and you're trying to race, and again, you have the can-can uh, in one of the scenes, it's so good. Uh, there are parts where you're in a tank, and it's fucking cool, uh, and the music just makes it all, all great. Uh, there are parts where you have to heal, you have to wound soldiers, both French, British, and German, which is very interesting, because it happened, and, and you know, <laughs> nurses on the field usually helped out both sides, because they felt bad. And they wanted to help out as much as they can. Um, 
At least I think. Don't. I'm be like, wait, uh, excuse me. That's not true. Whatever. In this game, Anna, who's a great character, she helps out because she's an awesome character. Um, what the, the what minor minor complaint is that there's a few t a number of times where in the game you there's this main like this main goal you have, but in order for you to do that, you have to help out this other dude. But in order to help out with him, you have to help out another dude. But in order for you to help out him, you have to help out another dude. And you, and it's just, it's a bit reparative. But when you finally, you know, um, figure it out and you have all the uh, pieces in a place, it's still enjoyable and still a lot of fun. But just, it, it can be just a tad, a tad bit repetitive, in my opinion. But even that, just such a minor complaint. Uh, it's a solid puzzle game. You don't shoot a gun. Ever. You throw grenades, sure. You throw dynamite, a lot. You you fire at cannons and tanks, sure. But you never actually hold up a gun and shoot someone. Which I find interesting. Um, and it works. It works really well. Really, really well with this game. And I just don't know how... I, I just love this game so much, and well, it just again if you own a PS4, PS3, Xbox One, or the 360, buy this game. It's it cost 15 bucks worth every penny. So good, so so good. Um, besides the minor repetitiveness of the style of um, puzzle solving. I still love the fuck out of this game. This game is so far the game of the year, in my opinion. So far. As, as I would have played. I have not yet played Shovel Knight, Titanfall, uh, South Park yet. So far, I, I gotta say Valiant Hearts. And what I hope is that if this game does well, which, if, you, if, if you're watching this, buy this game. If it does well, and I, and I hope it does, because it, it deserves it. But if it does well, I want there to be more games set in World War One, And not just a shooter... Because World War One wasn't really known for its, it was mainly known for its uh, trench warfare, which you know was intense, but not like it's not like World War Two where you have the main villain being Hitler. Because in World War One there wasn't a lot of you know like a main villain, it was just all propaganda, like there was like no like like pure evil as opposed to Hitler who was pure evil. But it's just I just love this game and and you should too. You should too. So, I'm going on for eight minutes now. That's all I gotta say about this game. Uh, I, I, I could go on for hours about how much I, I just love each moment of this game. Um, if if you own any other of the uh, platforms I said, please buy this game. Show your support. It's just it's worth it. It, it really is. So that's my unbiased review of Valiant Hearts of Great War. Uh, I'm done. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.